Hey, hey, what's up, motherfuckers? It's your boy Abby Ted back at you. A little more streamlined now. The beard's gone, but uh, I'll walk in the Poochie today. Got some snow here in Western North Carolina, as you can see. Um, apologize, I haven't been putting out any videos, but uh, I got some personal shit I got to take care of, and I've been hitting the gym pretty hard seven days a week, so uh, getting back into that, pretty hardcore. Uh, but I did find some uh, footage of my last trip I took about a month and a half ago. I was a turkey pen gap, so um, finally decided to edit that together for you. I will be back in the future with some more videos, but in the meantime, enjoy this one, and uh, we'll holler at you motherfuckers later. Back of the train car running Sounds like that rhythm on my mind Since I was born my head been open Songs from a different place and time I'll take you on a midnight drop nowhere Hey, hey, what's up, motherfuckers? It's your boy Ivy Tat back after with another video. Roscoe, chillax, bud. Out here at Turkey Pen Gap today. Uh, should be a short loop. I think if I use, I think this loop is about six miles, a little over. But if I use some of the connecting trails, I can probably make it a little longer. But this is gonna be a nice little overnighter. Shouldn't be too bad tonight. Right now it's in the low 40s, so um, shouldn't be as bad as my last couple trips at night. So let's get on down the trail. I've never been here before, so it should be fun. I know for so time I'll be headed back to you Keep those home fires burning bright Holy shape shit. Let's take a break here. Yeah, it's uh it's basically straight uphill. This first part of the trail. And I don't mind going uphill. I'd rather go uphill than downhill, but the only thing that sucks is when you're looking up ahead and you think you see the top, you go up the next little part where it kind of levels off and then you just see it keeps going up and up and up. It's just a kick to the dick and your morale. <laughs> but, fuck okay, it, let's keep going. I'll be headed back to you Keep those home fires burning bright and love I'll be home before you All right, motherfuckers, so got a little snack in me. I think I've decided to take this uh, wagon road gap down to the river because that was my original plan, find a spot to camp down there. So it's only maybe a half a mile. We'll check it out, see what we got down there. That tree's got herpes. The gift that keeps on giving. Damn, that real water is really fucking low right now. Tell North Carolina hasn't seen rain in months. Keep following this river. This fucking suspension bridge is real, real shady. It's all rotted out. Nice view of the river though. All right, mofos, check this out. Talk about a kick-ass camp spot. There's already a stack of wood there. Nice little fire pit, even though we can't have fires here right now. But right there is the river. So I'll have a nice sound to fall asleep to tonight. And from here, it's only about a three mile hike out back to the truck, so. It's early, but I think I found my camp spot. I think I'm gonna sit down and fucking relax. All right, guys, so I've got the usual stuff packed for this trip, although I did attach the lid to my pack this time around. Um, the last two trips, I really didn't need it, so to save weight, I took it off. It's only six ounces, uh, but this time around, because we're getting rain tonight, I wanted to pack a few extra things, a layers and my rain jacket and shit, so I attached the lid, and it uh, didn't really affect me too much, so. Um, <laughs> I did get a, a couple things extra I had to pick up the other day. Um, I got a dry sack 
because before I was putting my extra layers on my down coat in my stuff sack in my sleeping bag, it's not waterproof. So I figure I better get a dry sack, it's 10 liters. Um, it works great. I can double this as a pillow as well at night. Um, I had to pick up another can of gas, just got a 100 gram tank. And uh, my last trip down to the Pigeon River, apparently I didn't cinch down my Nalgene too well because it fell out of my pack. I didn't even hear it drop, so I lost my Nalgene. If you're ever hiking in the Pigeon River and you see a Nalgene with a sticker of Johnny Cash giving the bird, that's mine. Get it back to me, please. I've had that fucker for like three years. I've run over it twice to my truck. It's been through a lot of shit, so a little sentimental value there, but got a new Nalgene. A um, little plug for these guys if you're ever, ever in Asheville. The Frugal Backpacker, it's where I get a lot of my gear from, other than REI. I mean, REI is great, but if you can ever support the mom and pop shops locally, um, you should probably do that. So. Uh, these guys are great and really knowledgeable and they'll give you tips on all the surrounding trails and shit so good people in there macchiato reminds me of this fucking comedian his name's chris porter check him out he's got this bet on starbucks he's like yeah go to fucking starbucks and the warm always behind the slow fucking person and they want to sit there and ask me fucking questions like what's a fucking macchiato I don't fucking know. If I did, I wouldn't be here. I would have bought the shit myself, made this shit at home. You think I'm fucking getting a deal of five bucks a cup? Now pick a flavor and an Italian word and move to the left. Rasco, how's your dinner? Animals always eat first. I learned that when I was working on the ranch. I had about 30 horses up there. Horses always ate first. I don't care how fucking tired you were, you always feed the horses first. It's just the way it is, but. Now he's fed, I'm fucking getting hungry. It's about 4.30 and the sun's gonna be down in about an hour or so, so. Time to get some grub in me. Fuck, that's hot. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm a line cook and I really don't have much feeling in my hands anymore. I can usually touch hot shit, no problem, but goddamn, that steam will burn the fuck out of you. Kind of seal this up here, roll it up. We'll let it sit for 10 minutes and hopefully it'll be good to go. You guys are wondering what my favorite piece of gear is that I have? It's right here. Speaking of cleaning up, I carry three of these on me. I carry one in my pack for wiping sweat off. Keep one in my back pocket for around camp and shit. And I keep uh, one in my cook pot to clean up pots and pans and shit like that. So bandanas are invaluable. You can do a hell of a lot with them. All right, so it's about 5:30 now. It's starting to sprinkle out there, so apparently that weatherman wasn't too full of shit. I'm actually hoping for a downpour tonight, just to see how this tent holds up, so. Hunker down now. I'm gonna fuck up that chocolate bar here pretty soon. About six o'clock, sun's already down. It's only that sucks about winter, it gets dark so fucking early. But, time for dessert. A little coffee, half of this hazelnut cocoa classics that I got. Get all that shit in there. Hell yeah. Excellence, a touch of sea salt, has a rich brown color and enticing aroma. The taste reveals a harmony of unexpected contrast. The intensity of dark chocolate and the delicate seasoning of hand fart harvested Fleur de Sel sea salt crystals. AKA, it's fucking delicious. You know what they called that though? We learned a couple of weeks ago at Trail Days. Tell me. Beard blazing. Oh. That's what the ladies do. They hike to their it's potential to be around a guy, so they're beard blazing. I think they could do better than that name. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I liked it. So it was good. It was dong, dong blazing, I think. <laughs> Something. Yeah, like dick hiking. <laughs> wiener blazing. <laughs> I want to get fucked hiking. <laughs> blazing. Wiener walking. Oh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna blaze that wiener so hard you will not even recognize it. I'm about it. to fit your dick <laughs> all up in my vag blazing. <laughs> 
That's why the Pox and Puss podcast is the shit. Well, good morning, motherfucking sunshines. Yep, it ran through the night. I didn't hear that, but I stayed dry. I mean, up against the edges of my tent and where I was laying, it's a little damp there. You can see it came through, but I mean, it's, it's still fucking dry. I didn't get wet at all. Up around the edges, those are fine. See how the vestibule's held up. That's yeah, pretty dry. I mean, it's a little water seeped in around the edges. See where it's dipping down there, but let's take a look out here. It rained from 10.30 last night, and it's still raining. You guys remember when I came down to the river yesterday? Look at that bitch now. Fucker's raging. Could have crossed it yesterday, no problem. This morning, hell no. We got a shit ton of rain last night. All right guys, so it is looking pretty fucking dark out there still. I don't think this rain's gonna let up anytime soon. I might be walking out of here in the rain, but. I'm gonna get some breakfast going and still relax and hope for the best, but breakfast this morning, we're doing two oatmeal packets and a Snickers bar. Hell yeah. Now I got some time, breakfast is done. I'll tell you a little story about a camping trip I took with some employees a couple months back. I show up and I should have fucking known because I work with a bunch of goddamn hippies. It was pretty much, if you're familiar with the festival Burning Man, it was, think of Burning Man in the fucking wilderness. Bongos are on the campfire. Everybody's tripping on fucking mushrooms. Glow sticks galore, fucking, this asshole was pouring like blue powder in the fire making it all fucking colorful and shit and they're all tripping balls like woo ah I'm like what the fuck is going on and then they bust out the fucking hula hooping these two, these two chicks start hula hooping around the fucking fire tripping balls looking at the goddamn sky I'm like holy fucking shit never again will I hang out with these motherfuckers All right, so changing plans once again. The heavens have opened up. We got blue skies above us right now. I don't know how long it's gonna last. It could last all fucking day. So it's still early, about 11. I'm gonna continue on the loop I originally intended on going on. Hope for there's a bridge across the river. If not, I still got time in the day to backtrack and do the whole fucking loop again. I'll go back out the way I came. So that's the plan. Let's get fucking moving. I know it's tough, baby Me leaving you this way Daddy's got a roll Out of town to a barroom show I promise I'll be sweet To you another day Hi, motherfuckers. Reached the trailhead. It was a hell of a trip. Time to get the fuck out of here and head back to the real world. Till next time, it's your boy IB Tat. We'll holler at you motherfuckers later.